Hi everyone! This tutorial will walk you through on how to change the placement of the recommendation boxes within the LimeSpot Admin panel. Let's get started! Inside the LimeSpot Admin panel, under Personalizer, Recommendation Boxes, you will find a pencil black button which is the Customize button. When you click on it, it will bring you to the Box Designer where you can do any customizations related to the recommendation boxes. The box designer also shows a live preview of your store with the recommendation boxes. Once you install LimeSpot, the boxes usually go to the bottom of the page just above the footer. So as you can see here, the most popular box you may like and the recently viewed. This is why the tutorial is going to be very helpful for you so that you will now know how to move the recommendation boxes anywhere you want it in your store. So one of the best practices that we usually suggest our customers is to have the most popular box on your homepage right below the first element of your store. So for this test store that we are using right now, it will be below this image hero banner right here. To do that, we want to go to the most popular box settings under advanced settings. And just take note right here, there is a tooltip where you can see more information about this and also an article about the placements of the recommendation boxes that you can do within the box designer. Here you will see three different settings that you will use to move the recommendation box placement. First is the placement sibling and probably the most important one of all. We use this sibling to use as a reference or anchor to figure out where on the page we should insert the recommendation box when shoppers view the store. If you already have HTML or CSS knowledge, you probably know what a sibling means and how CSS selectors work. If you have minimal or no knowledge of HTML, don't worry. This is why we have this tutorial and I will explain how to figure out the placement sibling for you. The first thing we want to do is to open the developer tool of your browser. How do we do that? Go to the element that you want to make as a placement sibling. So for example, it will be this image element. Right click on the element and click on inspect or inspect element. And the developer tool will show up on your side or a new window. Make sure that you are under the elements tab to see the HTML code of your store. I know this seems crazy, but don't worry. It won't take time and you don't have to deal with it again in the future once you do the placements of your boxes already. As you can see, when I hover through the line of code here, the elements are highlighted on the live preview. HTML elements have unique IDs and sometimes unique classes attached to them. Here you can see that the codes are collapsible. When you collapse a piece of code, what is left is the parent element. When you expand the code, you will see the children elements, all of which are considered each other's siblings. Pretty intuitive, right? So for example, that for this element, the NoScript, and also the div class flex view viewport, these are siblings. And who is their parent? Correct, it would be the div class flex slider right here. You're getting the hang of this. Now that you know what a sibling means, we want to find the lucky element that will soon become the sibling of our beautiful LimeSpot recommendation box. For this specific sample, where we want to put the most popular below the first element of the page, we will use this ID. Shopify dash section dash slideshow. As I said before, we can use both an ID or a class, but IDs are preferred because it's much easier to use them and they are more unique. We need to have a CSS selector for the LimeSpot box placement. And when you have an ID, your CSS selector is simply hashtag and the ID name. And when you have a class as your CSS selector, you will use dot and the class name. So since we are using an ID, I will put the hashtag 
and the ID name. As you can see, as soon as I type the CSS selector and the box designer, the recommendation box jumps above the placement sibling that you just specified. Now, you can move the recommendation box down or up by entering a value in the placement disposition section. For this sample, we will use 1 so that the most popular box goes below the section. If you use a negative number, it goes above the sibling element. Very simple, right? Positive number takes it below and negative numbers take it above the sibling placement. Easy peasy. Lastly, the CSS class is where you can apply additional CSS classes to the LimeSpot box to make sure it matches with your theme if necessary. For example, Sometimes our boxes go full width through the store, and in those cases, the theme usually has a class that adds paddings or margins into the elements of the store. You can add that class on the CSS classes field here. Just by adding the class name and the recommendation box, we'll get that class. One last thing. If you want to move all the recommendation boxes on the page at once, you can do this under the advanced settings of the page settings instead of doing it separately for each boxes. You can see it here under home settings and in the advanced settings right here. Take note, the settings you apply to the individual recommendation boxes like we did in the most popular box will override what you define into the page settings advanced settings. Once you're happy with all your customizations, you can save and publish the new placements into your live store. Save and publish. And you will get those notifications saying that you have published and everything that you've changed are live in your store. So that is how you can move the recommendation boxes anywhere you want on your store. Thank you for watching and have a great day.